A Southeast Austin apartment complex hit with 30 citations today, while even more renters still have no place to live. Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Leslie Rohde. The Woodridge Apartments troubles began when a balcony collapsed last week. Two tickets have been issued for each of the 15 buildings, one for the walkways and another for the overall structure not built to code. Families living in 48 units in immediate danger had to leave. KXAN's Erin Cargyle says some help is slowly coming in now. She joins us live tonight from the Woodridge Apartments. Erin? Well, good evening, guys. The city is looking for nonprofits to step in and help. Also, a nearby apartment complex says they are willing to waive their deposit and move in fees for folks who are ready to move in and not willing to wait for all of this to get sorted out. The head of code compliance paid a visit to the Woodridge Apartments Monday afternoon with a message for the managers. It's their responsibility to make it safe so the tenants can go back in. And so that's our hope that they will do that. We'll monitor on a daily basis to, to see that that is done. Now, if they just fail to do it, we'll, we'll take other steps. The city hit the management company Asset Plus with 30 citations Monday. A municipal judge could make them pay up to $30,000, but what the city really wants to see is progress. So I understand they were at planning development and review today, uh, looking at pulling permits for repair. That's a good step. They've also put up some additional fencing, but there's more, a lot more work to be done. The city is trying to find help for renters who have nowhere to go. Those with red notices on their doors say they've had little help from managers. Some are staying with family at area hotels and even in their cars. Neil Prentice let Candid Lefevers move into his apartment at Woodridge. That has not been deemed dangerous. But she's still trying to find a home for her cat that can't stay with two dogs. I don't know what to do with him. If, I'm, I'm afraid if I let him go, he's just going to sit by the apartment door because he knows where he's supposed to be. Austin school district officials even showed up to help with food and rides to school after 20 kids missed class Monday. And some good news to report. We do want to let you know that that resident with the cat did find a new home for him. Now, what the city's Building and Standards Commission is calling for an emergency meeting in the first week of June. At that time, they are going to hear this case and set a deadline for repairs. We're live in southeast Austin tonight. Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News.